When we think about colorectal cancer, the most important factor really has to do with staging. There are many different ways to stage for colorectal cancer. They include Duke staging, TNM staging. The most important thing related to colorectal cancer in terms of the stage is the depth of penetration. When a lesion is just within the mucosa or the submucosa, that allows it to be an early lesion, the most preventable, one that can be dealt with by surgery alone. However, colorectal cancer can actually grow deep into the lumen and different staging is based upon how deep it goes, whether it goes into the submucosa, into the muscularis propria, deep to the muscle layer, into the serosa, into adjacent and distant lymph nodes, and obviously for stage four disease, if it metastasizes to the liver. The frequency of colorectal cancer really involves all the different Duke stages. However, unfortunately, the least common presentation is in the early stage disease. And the reason why that is so important is because survival is really dependent upon the staging of diagnosis. And one can clearly see here in a five-year survival from diagnosis in early stage disease, the five-year survival is excellent. When we go down to someone who suffers from stage Duke's D disease, obviously the five-year survival leaves a lot to be desired. Now this also affects treatment and certainly stage affects how we may be able to handle a patient's care where, as I mentioned, surgery is the mainstay of treatment for stage A disease, which enjoys the, the largest five-year survival. And as we go through the different stages, surgery may still be an option, but certainly both preoperative and postoperative chemotherapy plays a major role in handling the patient's care.